Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about JShell. Now as we know that we got Java 9 in which you got latest features like JShell. Now JShell is actually a REPL for Java. Now REPL is there for different languages like Python. Uh, so what exactly REPL is, it is read, eval, print loop which means you can write a statement and you will get the output instantly. You can also call it as interactive console. Now, first of all, how do you open uh, JShell? So it's very simple. Uh, first of all, you have to install JDK 9. And once you have installed that, once you have set, set all the path, you have to open CMD. Now you can set the path in two ways. You can use your uh, environment variables or you can set the path from here, but that's fine. If you have done that, what you can do is you can simply type JShell. Now this is how, this is how you open JShell. So open your CMD, make sure your path is set and type JShell. Now after typing JShell, just say enter and you can see it will open JShell for you. Now it is uh, so, so we have entered into JShell now. Okay, so the first command we will see. So remember this, whenever you want to fire any command in JShell, we have to use a slash there. Okay, uh, you can execute Java statements or you can execute some commands. But for, for commands, you have to use slash. Now one of the awesome commands we can use here is help. As you can see, we got help. Now the moment you do that, you can see we got all the commands which we can use here, okay? So there are list of commands we can use. So that is one thing. So what your second command will see? Again, before going for any of the commands, let's first of all understand how to go out. So let's say you are into shell now and you want to go out. Now there's the easiest way you can click on this cross button, this will work, but that's not a good way, right? So what you will do is you will simply say slash and you can, you will type exit. Now the moment you say exit, it says goodbye and you will, you are coming out. Uh, okay, once again, JShell might not work in your system if you have two JDKs in your system. Uh, so first you have to verify which version of Java you are currently working with. So I can, you can see I'm using Java 9. So just verify once before continuing with this. So again, so let's go back to JShell and that's how you open JShell. Just type JShell there and let's try to execute something here. Now, doesn't matter which programming language you start with. Right, you when you start when you talk about C language or C plus plus or Java, you always start with Hello World, right? But then normally what we do is when you write a when you write programming uh, when you write Java code, we have to get a class, we have to get a method, and then we can do something. But here we can simply type system dot out dot print ln, and here you can actually type a statement. So you will say, uh, "Welcome to Telisco." Now you can type anything you want, right? I'm just typing this and the semicolon at the end is not compulsory because your J shell will do it for you. And the moment you say enter, you can see we got the output as welcome to the telescope. So no need to define a method there, no need to write a class. And that's the, that's the best thing about J shell. Now what if you want to perform some operation? Let's say you want to add two numbers. Is it possible? It's very easy actually. So you can simply say two and three. Uh, if I say enter, will it work? Okay, let's try. And you can see the moment I do that, you got the answer. Okay, so you can see when I say 2 plus 3 is 5. But what is this $2? Now, $2 is basically an ID. So why do we need an ID here? Because ID will be useful for you to use it later. Example, let's say if I want to add a number 6 to the existing output we have. So the output here is 5. I want to add 6 to that output. I can use an ID here. So I can say $2. Now $2 will give me, an ID. Uh, if I say $2, you can see $2 is 5. So if, again, if I type $2 plus 6, so what will happen is it will add 5 and 6. So 5 is the output, right, the, for, for the ID 2. And you can see we got, uh, okay, so 5 and 6, will, we got 11. It's, it's that awesome, right? And we got an ID which is $4, right? So we can use $4 to do something else, right? So I can simply say system, uh, dot out dot print ln and you can actually use dollar four here to print right you can see we got 11 so you can use that ID, id anywhere you want so you can reuse the id later so that's how we can perform addition uh can we do something else can i can i perform a logical operation here uh let's say if i say true or true you can see we got true so if, if, if you say true or false, it will work. So let's, let's, let, let's perform something. So I will say eight is greater than nine, uh, which is false, of course. If I say eight is greater than nine, or, uh, or I will say six is greater than five, and you can see we got true. So we can perform all those operations which we normally do in, in Java. So when you, when you learn Java for the first time, this is what you do, right? You, you perform addition, uh, you print something, you go for the uh, logical operators, and you, you do all those stuff. So we can do everything here, it's possible. And it's that easy to work with. 
Uh, now, okay, do we have some extra thing here? Do, do, can we do something else? Now, uh, we can also declare variables, right? We can do that. So if I say int i equal to 9, and the moment I say enter, you can see it works. It says i is 9. Now, what if you want to use this i later? Can we reuse the variables? Is it possible? Let's try. So if I say system.out.println, instead of typing it, I will simply use the existing code. And I will say i. You can, you can, you can get the last command by typing, uh, by pressing uh, up button or up arrow. Right? Normally, we do that with any CMD or terminal. So if I enter, enter this, you can see we got 9. So yes, we can reuse the variables as well. Now, can I define one more variable? If I say int j, and if I don't assign the value, that's fine. By default, the, the value will be assigned zero. Now, in Java, in, in J shell, we can also get the verbose output. I mean, when you, when you, when you perform some uh, commands, you can get a verbose output. Now, how do we do that? So you can say slash, again, we, we, we are performing some commands, right? If you are sending some commands, you have to use slash. I will say slash set. Uh, feedback because I want a feedback. I whenever I type a command, I want to see what what is happening. So you can set feedback. The default feedback is normal. So at the moment I do that, you can see the default uh, feedback is normal, right? What I want is verbose. So what we can do is we can say set feedback, and you can say this is verbose. And now you got a feedback verbose. Now you might be thinking, what's the advantage of this? The advantage is if I say int k is equal to nine or maybe int k equal to one. Now it says you, you got the value which is k equal to 1, right? But it also gives you a feedback that created a variable k of type int, right? And it makes more sense when you write this code. Now if I say k++ and if I say enter, uh, you can see we got the value which is 1 because this is post increment. And again, if I try to print the value of k, uh, you can see k is 2 now. But here, look at this. It says created scratch, uh, scratch variable, which is id which is th with 13 of type int. Because we are performing an operation, right? And we are not, we are changing value, but then we are not, we are performing an operation, but we are not storing it. So it is stored in dollar thirteen, so so that we can reuse it. Now, if I say plus plus k, it will give you a three, and you got a new ID. So every time you perform an operation, it gives you a new ID, and that makes sense, right? So yes, you can perform all the operations which we do in normal Java. Now, can I have multi-line comments? Normally, uh, sorry, multi-line statements. Example, when you perform one line of code, you don't need to put semicolon there because JShell will do it for you. But what if, what if you want to define a method? What if you want to define a class? Is it possible? Uh, let's try that. So if I say public void show, I'm defining a method now. So I'm defining a method like show. And you have to open the curly brackets. Yeah, when you, the moment you say enter, now can I say enter because normally whatever we have done till now, it has one, one line of code, right? But this time I want to perform multiple lines of code. Do we need to do something extra to do that? Uh, actually, no, we don't have to. We simply have to say enter. And you can see this is a new type of uh, line we got. It says dot dot uh, arrow and it is, it is waiting for you to enter something else. What I will say here is I will say int uh, val or int num is equal to 9 or maybe 8 why always 9 I will give a semicolon here and I will say enter now it is still waiting for me so I will say system dot out dot print ln and I will say uh, hello world and I also okay so and then at the end I will say semicolon enter and we'll say curly brackets close and done we have defined the method which called a show and it's that easy we can define the methods 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 as well now can I can I call this method? That's important, right? So let's type show and say enter, and you can see it works. We got we got hello world, perfect, right? Okay. Now I want to make some changes in this. Is it possible to make the changes? Now first of all, before making the changes, let me just show you one more command. And the command here is list. Now if I say list, you can see we got all the statements which are performed till now. Right, you can you can see the first statement was this one, so that's why the ID is one. Uh, this for this the ID is two, then the ID is three. So we have performed all this operation till this point, and we got sixteen here. What I want to do is I want to edit this thing. I I, I just I, I want to uh, I would I, I want to print hello world with 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 a value here. Now can I do that? Uh, let's try. So to edit, we have to type a command called as edit. Right, so we have to say slash edit, and you have to mention the ID. The ID in this case is 16, so I will say dollar $16. And if I say enter, oh, there's no code snippet for 16. Is it 16? Yeah. So you have to, you don't have to mention dollar symbol, you have to mention the uh, you have to mention the ID, that's it. 
Now, the moment I do that, you can see if we got a uh, edit pad. This is a Java Swing panel. If you have ever wor worked on Swing, this is how it looks like, right? Now, if you have worked it on a long time, I mean, way back, you know how th this looks like. Okay, so what I will do is here. Um, I will make some changes. So how do we change here? So I'll say hello world and I will say plus num. So I want to print num as well. Now just simply say accept because you have made the changes and say exit. Okay, now it says it has updated the method. Let's try to execute that once again. Let's call show and can you see that we got hello world 8 and it's that awesome right i just love this type of things uh okay now what else we can do can we just do that once again let's do it do the edit once again now imagine this is a method and you already have an instance variable and the instance variable okay now since we are editing 16 so it, it is going back to previous version i want to print a variable called as age now of course we don't have a variable called as age till now right we have not done that yet it will what, what do you think will it work now that's a good question, right? I, so before continuing, I will give you two seconds to think about it. Will this work? Because I'm using a variable which is not yet declared because I'm, is, I'm imagining that this, this must be a instance variable, right? It is defined somewhere else. So I will say accept, there's no error. I will say exit, there's no error. Let's call show now. And the moment you do that, oh, it's not working. It says accepted to call method show which cannot be invoked until variable age is declared and that's the beauty it is not giving you any error pre-hand but it says hey if you want to use so here itself you can see that it says however so the method is modified however it cannot be invoked until variable age is declared that means if i declare the age if i declare a variable called as age now and if i assign the age maybe let's say uh, 28 and if i say enter now you can see we got the age variable and now it is also updated in the show. Now can I call show? Uh, yes, you can call show, right? The value is 28. So this is called this is something called as future reference or forward reference, not future reference, forward reference. So even if you don't have something which a method needs, a method will be created so that you can do the next thing later. Right? So that's, that's the beauty about uh, JShell, right? We can do that with methods as well. Again, let me go back to, uh, I will say edit this time. I will say, uh, no, I will say, first of all, I will say list. I want to know uh, where I have done the edit. So it is not, this time it is 20 now, as you can see. So I will say slash edit 20. And I, would, I want to make some changes. So from here, I want to call a different method. And that method name is uh, display. Again, we don't have this method yet. So still, I will say display. I want to call a method called a display right and i will say accept i will say exit now you can see again the same thing happening here with the very the way we have done with age variable we have not created the display method yet so if i try to call show without defining the display method it will not work so this is a forward reference so that you can you can create a method later so i can say public void display and here you can say uh, whatever you want to do say system dot out dot print ln and i will print something i will print something <laughs> with this spelling mistake of course that doesn't matter right i will say enter and here we go okay something is missing the semicolon is missing there okay so what i will do is i will say again i will say list do, do, i mean can we change that is it possible and no it is not getting recorded so we have to do that once again okay so let's say public uh, bracket so we have to put the semicolon here because it doesn't work that way so we have to give curly brackets and it worked now if you call show you can see that it worked so it says hello world 20 and something with that wrong spelling that's fine we are not here to correct the spelling right but it's working right so that's how you can use the list command so remember that we have talked about we have so we have different commands we can use here let me just use that command here so the, the first one we have used is list uh, okay, the space is not so space is not needed there. In fact, if you give space, it will give you error. You can use edit and you can mention the ID which want which which thing you want to edit. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching.